We don't really wear protective gear, like no pads, no shin guards, nothing. It is, it is a brutal game, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, everyone gets bumps and bruises. I've sprained my MCL in my right knee, I tore my ACL and my meniscus in my left knee, and I've hyperextended my right elbow. It's actually a lot safer than football. Um, they actually did an international study a couple years ago, and rugby actually led football in injuries, but if you look deeper into the study, um, when you compare injuries to time missed at training or matches, rugby is actually equivalent to tennis. The key is when the scrum is done, you get out fast. Um, proven studies have shown that if done properly with the right techniques and the right coaching and the right you know, emphasis on safety, you, you won't get nearly as many injuries as soccer, football, basketball, volleyball, any of the other major sports. We teach the, the proper technique on how to tackle someone, the proper technique of how to get tackled. So we try to reduce the risk of injury as much as possible, but with any contact sport comes a risk of injury. The technique, the technique that you teach for literally any second during the game, there's a safety aspect of it. Um, a lot of times it's how to control your body and protect your body which in turn will protect the body of the person you're going against as well. Keep your heads up, blocks, heads up, crouch, bind, set. Um, we do the progressive style of coaching, so basically a part, part, whole concept where you teach a component of the skill that you want to eventually get to, um, maintaining the safety obviously throughout the whole thing. It's really fun and it's a great game and it's not as scary as it looks.